Hey folks, Mel Foran here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're carrying on our campaign in Crusader Kings 3 in the Rise of the Habsburgs. And uh, yeah, we just took the Kingdom of Aragon off the off the French, defeated the Emperor here, gave him a bit of a bloody nose and uh, took some land off him. So uh, yeah, as I was mentioning last episode, we're just going to clean this up a little bit. We're going to give our uh, the Kingdom here to someone from the Habsburgian house. Then we're going to keep the land down here in uh, Zaragoza, no, Valencia. Until we get the Valencian throne, then we'll give that away to somebody. And um, before that happens, we'll hopefully have another foothold somewhere else in um, in Iberia. And then we can just carry on trying to take the whole of the uh, the French... Um, not the French, the Spanish throne. I suppose the one thing we've got to keep in mind is to create the Empire. We kind of need... What do you need to have? Yeah, we need to... Actually, it's a good point, because we kind of want to create this. And we'll rename it Spain, because... In the time of the Habsburgs, it was Spain. Wait, why is this not part of it? On. Oh, uh, that's. I think that's because we're playing on the. Um, this campaign was started on the old patch before the uh, Fate of Iberia came out, and I think these are the counties they remade in that patch. So I guess it kind of bugged out a little bit, which is kind of weird, but uh, is what it is. That's what happens if you play on patches from uh, different saves and all that good stuff. So uh, yeah. To do this, we will actually need to own it directly ourselves. Because I want to make Spain like the Kingdom of Spain and then give it away to somebody else. Uh, well, the Empire of Spain, I suppose. And then we'll give away the Empire to somebody else, <laughs> I guess. Because, yeah, kingdoms won't work. So, yeah, I guess we'll have to make the Empire of Hispania, rename it to the Empire of Spain, and then give that Empire to somebody else. Although it will be our only Empire-level title, so... We might actually get stuck with it. We'll see. It's not the end of the world if we do. Uh, we'll rename it, obviously, to the Empire of Austria, and we'll change the colour to white. But, um, yeah, I kind of want to give it away. I suppose we could just make it all just one big kingdom um, and then give it away. But that'd be a little bit more annoying to do. So we'll we'll see. Like I say, to be honest, with the amount of time we've got left, we've got, what, uh, about 180 years? It might be that we only uh, we actually only end up capturing a certain amount of this, so we'll see. Or, to be honest, if we do capture all of it, we might just end the campaign at that point, because uh, by then we'll probably have the Netherlands, we'll have Spain, if we can get all of it, and then that is basically recreating the, the land the Habsburgs had, so um, we, we, we might just leave the campaign at that point. It's been going long enough, but we've been enjoying it. Well, I hope you have. I've been enjoying it, so um, we'll... Uh, We'll keep going as long as we as long as we can. Invite some knights, we'll do that. Because it looks like we're missing a few knights. And then, yeah, we'll give this away. So now, I don't think any of these are Habsburgs. I would doubt it very much. He is not. I think in the past, but perhaps it was. No, it wasn't. It's always been to Barcelona. So in that case, we'll give Zaragoza to someone from our house. And then we'll give them the duchy. And then we'll give them the... Um, the kingdom as well so uh yeah we'll find somebody on here that is from our house uh not you you're our heir you are our grandson you're only five though we could do somebody who is like of age to be honest what about you guys stefan von habsburg no he's the heir to the duchy of staymark I think yes he is so we don't we don't want to give it to him Yeah, that was him. Uh, what about you, Milota? No. We could do with someone who's like directly Habsburg, but as long as they're from a um, like this guy, he's from a, a cadet branch of our house, so um, he would also work in uh, in some way. I'd rather give it to an actual Habsburg, but we I think we're kind of running out of them, to be honest. Oh, Svetobor. Hmm. Are you actually going to become the ruler of anywhere? He isn't. He's not exactly who I would go for, but do you know what? He works. Where is he? Has he gone all the way down the list again? He has. Where is he? We'll have to try and find him again. I think I've gone too far. Let's go back up. Um, yeah, he's not exactly... Um, you know, He's not Austrian, but he is a Habsburg, so... That counts uh, well enough for me, to be honest. Where is he? Wait, I think he was below this guy, wasn't he? No, he, was, he must have been higher. 
Ezo. Ezo von Habsburg. Oh, he's also a... Oh, he can't be Airfrix, the other guy was. You know what? Let's make it this guy instead. Let's make it him. So we'll give him the county of Zaragoza. We'll give him the Duchy of Aragon and the Kingdom of Aragon. So he will obviously become a vassal of the, of the Kaisers and not ours. He'll get removed from our lands. So will all these. But he will be an independent king of the Habsburg uh, house, which is what we like making. I think I've done it right this time. Usually I mess it up. Um, oh, it's going to happen again. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to give away this to him. What we'll do like last time. Yeah. What we'll do is... Him. What we'll do is, like we did last time, is we'll gift him to the Kaiser, and the Kaiser will give it to the other guy because it's du jour part of his lands. That's how it worked out every other time. He is only... 8 years old, 11 years old, but I still think he'll be smart enough to do it, so... <laughs> Let's try. Let's try and do it, there we go. We are greedy, so it actually hurt us to do that. But um, it is what we want to do, Gothia. Also, he owns some of this as well. I didn't realise that. We would have revoked that first. Well, it doesn't matter, we own this. We can use this as a jumping off point in our wars against France and stuff like that. And we can obviously get some claims on um, Valencia and all that good stuff, so it's not the end of the world. Not exactly how I wanted it to play out, but again, we've always had fun trying to do these. Managed domain, yeah, I was hoping we'd get this one higher. Uh, I don't think there's any way for us to do it. I think all the land we own is within our uh, home duchy. I think the land we got up here we gave away, yeah we did. Well, we're going to have to do one over, because I don't, I don't want to give this away as well. I want to keep this. Although, there'd still be a vast of ours. We could still um, come out of here anyway. Do you want, let's do that then. Let's just grant this to, uh, again, another Habsburg. It doesn't really matter which one, to be honest, this time. Just any, any half-decent Habsburg or Habsburg-adjacent character. Oh, there was one. And Zoltan of Nidertricht. Well, uh, we preferably we could do with him not being landed. If possible. Uh, no. <laughs> None of these guys. Oh, he's from one of our um, cadet branches. Is he heir to anything? No, oh, he was. Yeah, no, he was heir to this guy. Our grandson. Should we just give it to this guy? Our grandson here. Yeah, do you, want, you can go to uh, Al Alakon. There we go. And obviously, it stays within our how within our lands, so we can still use this as a jumping off point, and then we can basically just keep building up him into the king down here as well and then i'm hoping this gets given to aragon it should do it's happened every other time oh there we go it happened already so fantastic worked out exactly what, how we wanted we can usurp this kingdom so we'll go and give that away as well we've got all these prisoners we'll just ransom them all off i think duke of Brittany. kind of funny we've got him all the way over here yeah we'll just ransom all these off There we go. And we've got these two left. I guess he had no money left. Uh, he's the Count. Uh, oh, he's in Catalan. Okay, we'll let him go, because then hopefully he doesn't do anything crazy with the new lands we just got there. Well, that we just gave away, but uh, anyway, at least uh, hopefully he won't cause any trouble. Uh, we don't care about this. Actually, no, let's negotiate an alliance with him. He is, the, he is a king, so he'll probably have some decent troops. That's all of that done. Can ransom you off. Awesome. So we'll pin um, this guy. Wait, is that who we just gave it to him? Oh, I guess he just grew up. Yeah, I guess he just grew up enough. <laughs> he, he, he looked like a child last time. Oh, we've got this war against uh, trying to take the Hungarian throne from us. Um, so yeah, I guess he grew up 
<laughs> just in time for us to keep an eye on. Nice. He did betrothed to someone else from... Oh, no, not from our house. Well, that's fine. Right. Let's get on with this war, I guess. Oh, all of Hungary <laughs> rebelled against us. Well. Where's the... Uh, who's the faction leader? This guy? Yes. Okay. Well, we'll raise our army right here. And then we'll uh, cross the mountains. And just go straight for his capital. <laughs> and just hopefully finish it. Uh, really quickly. She, she came of age. We won't call in any of our allies. I don't think we'll need to. How many troops has he got? 22,000? Oh, we will need to. Okay, well, never mind me. I suppose we might as well. It's free to call them in, obviously. Unless somebody declared war on us. Jerusalem. Uh, again, we're calling these house members. We'll get Italy. Uh, Syria. And uh, an Aragon. Well, you know, obviously he'll come and help us. We just gave him that throne, so hopefully he uh, repays our kindness. Excellent news. And the Kaiser's doing awful in these wars. So he's got a massive rebellion up here. Palabian Catholic Uprising. Yeah, the King of Poland. Oh, he's helping us. And then, yeah, all these guys rebelling. Interesting. And then he's got a war for the claim of the Kingdom of Poland. Oh, he's actually in a... Um... Oh, no, he's an ally in there. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, so he's an ally in somebody else's, somebody else's war, so we don't really care about that. And then he's also defending against this claim from Duchess Benedicta. On the uh, so we'll have a uh, Kaiserin if if this is successful, It'd be pretty crazy if it is, but um, we'll see. We probably want to help and make sure that doesn't happen, but obviously we'll deal with our own war first, and then we'll see. And anyway, yeah, like I said, we're going to go straight for the capital because you never know, we could capture the uh, the ringleader and just end this war pretty quickly. We've got advanced bow making. So we'll see what we can take next. Uh, do we get a new... Um, oh, we did. Standing armies became our exposure. So size of men-at-arms plus five. We're going to get an additional men-at-arms regiment as well. We'll match this just because it's going to take so long for us to get things otherwise. Then again, we'll just match the exposure each time. Because there's none of them, as we have primogenitor already, there's none of them that we're, like, desperate to get. So, we'll, uh, we'll just take what we what we see for now. Oh, the Kaiser's under attack again. Lord Market attacking them now. Kind of feel like calling some more people into this war, to be honest. Uh, ooh, nearly, nearly 8,000 troops. Yeah, you're going to come and help us. You're not. You're already in another war. You're a mess. Nobody cares. Oh, we got dynasty members. We've got the Prince of Poland. He has no troops. Sicily. He's already in this war, I think. Oh, no. Independent. Wait. Independence war? Oh, Sicily's trying to get independence. <laughs> That'd be crazy. One of our, one of our um, house members, who's the king of Sicily, he's trying to get out of the HRA. All the rest are quite small, but I guess he's got a bunch of troops. He's only got 2,000. It's not a lot. I guess he's got a lot. He hasn't got a lot. Is the Kaiser just that weak? He's got 11,000. Like I said, we probably should help him because he is married to our daughter, and obviously any of their children will become Habsburg members. Interesting. Well, we'll keep an eye on all that. Obviously, we've got to deal with our own war first before we get too far down our path. We're going to have to watch out here because if they unify their troops, they're, they're going to do quite a bit of damage to us. We'll see if we can siege us down quick enough. And obviously, when our, our, all our allies arrive, we should be able to take them on. If they do. Oh, our truce with you. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Ah, oh dear. Is it because he's drunk? I guess it's because he's drunk. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that pose. What a lad. Here comes someone. 
Oh, here comes Jerusalem, 14,000 troops. Fantastic. Um, anyway, we've finished down here, so we'll go down the left-hand side, learn language. We, well, we don't really care about that too much. But uh, we get the cultural, different cultural opinion and then the different religion opinion modifiers, which are good for us, especially with our lands being kind of spread out a little bit. Oh, he stole the sweet roll recipe, which we gave him, I think. Uh, where's our capital? So our capital is all the way over here, so we haven't got to worry about them attacking our capital. I kind of want to fight them, but I probably want to wait to have more troops with us before we risk fighting them. So for now, I think we'll just hang around and siege this down until some more uh, some more of our friends appear. Here comes 10,000 more troops. And we should have some, I think, coming from the north somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe no one else is going to come help. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, that isn't something to siege. Okay, guess this, guess this place is. So yeah, we'll siege this down then, and this, and then um, I think we'll either try and attack them if we can, or we'll move around and take more of these capitals of these realms that have rebelled against us. And to be honest, we'll probably just white piece this as soon as we get to a high enough um, point where we can. Oh, just one more? Why aren't you getting any duchies? You got 17 learning. No, we'll just keep we'll keep him going until we can get the duchy claim. The scandal, yes. Wait, she had another child with somebody else? No, have a child with him. <laughs> oh, that's our scheme. There we go, 47%. I, I reckon they'll white piece now. They will. That was easy enough. Oh, we'll disband all of these. Like I said, we should probably help the Emperor in um, in these wars. Especially this independence war. No, the independence one I don't really care about, because if Sicily becomes independent, it's kind of fine. It's still part of our house, and it's just not part of the HRE, which is kind of fine. We want to make sure he doesn't lose this one. Because he'll get replaced if he does. So let's offer to help him in this war. Uh, yes. Yeah, because these other ones don't really matter too much. Oh, he can't? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess we can't. Well, have a look in a second. The absolute shambles. Look at these two guys. My lord, it's not what it looks like, cries Duke Nuno as I enter my favourite dining hall. What it looks like is that he's utterly wrecked the room. Food cakes the walls, the tables are all but shattered. Someone has stacked every chair into a pyramid, and the comatose form of Duke Juan, totally nude, lies face up and slathered in soup on one of my beds. <laughs> Lads, what are you getting up to? Uh, the two diplomats only arrived yesterday. I gave them permission for a good meal and some light entertainment. Not a party fit to raise hell itself. You'll pay the damages, you lick spittle curse. <laughs> Wow, we get like 800 gold off them. All right, you trashed it, you clean it up. We just get them told. Oh, the pie is not over. Let's join in. Or, wordlessly, we just turn around and leave. <laughs> we leave them to stew in their own fear. Oh, so they gain stress. That's pretty cool. Well, oh, and we gain, we lose stress because we're reclusive. So we just, we would just turn around and go, that's fine. Yeah, we'll do that then. Kind of fits our character more than the rest do oh we made that kingdom didn't we yeah let's um let's figure that out so yeah we took the kingdom of uh moldavia over here so we kind of want to give that away is anyone here from our house no that's annoying what about this no that's super annoying. Neither of them. Can we usurp your title? 100% chance will accept, but 
it will cause tyranny. Do I kind of want to do it though? Because then we can grant it to one of our vassals. Uh, one of someone from our house. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it. You get some tyranny. Whatever. There we go. We stole it. Right, so now we'll give this away to again someone from our uh, someone from our house. So let's find them first. No, not Stefan. Not him again. Or or him. Um nor him. Our brother in law. Well it is I mean it's not in Hungary, but it's Hungary adjacent. I don't think he's heir to anything. No, he isn't. So, do you know what you'll do? You're not exactly what I what I what I what I would want, but uh, you will uh, you'll serve the purpose well. So we'll give him all of this. He'll become the king of Moldavia again. He'll become independent, but he will be another Habsburg. He's not exactly a direct Habsburg, but he is from a cadet branch again of our house. So I think that serves well enough. We haven't really got anyone else who fits, and it's kind of like out of the way. So. I don't really want to mess around trying to get it exactly right. Oh, he is married to someone else also from the Habsburg, so do you know what? He fits the bill perfectly. So, um, well, he's actually matrilineally married. So, yeah, do you know what? Let's just do it. So he's getting all of that. Again, it's going to split away from Austria, but it doesn't really matter. He is uh, hopefully going to pick up all the rest of this stuff. Oh, again. Yeah, we couldn't grant him the other vassal, could we? So... Again, we'll give him to the Kaiser, and the Kaiser should give it to the other person. Grand Vassal. There we go. Is it this guy? Yes. Yes, him. And again, he should in theory be given to Moldavia then. We're kind of getting out of where the like home HRE lands are. So I think it will still work. But if it's not going to work, this would be where... Oh, no, there we go. Got given to him. Fantastic. So, yeah, we need to pin him, actually. He's the latest uh, Habsburg king or queen. Actually, Joel, you know let's get rid of these ones that aren't kings or queens now. You're a king, you're a duke, so you can go away. So, yeah, on, the, on this right-hand side, we'll just keep everyone who's a king or a queen. Um, I think that's all of them. Let's have a look. Um, seven kings, obviously including us. Wait, there's only five of them. Who's the other one? Well, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Sicily, the queen of Syria, king of Aragon, king of Moldavia. Oh, Sicily. Yeah. Oh, no, no, he is on there. Um, is it Italy, then? Is he not pinned? Ah, there we go. That's who it is. Gerhard II of Italy. There we go. Yeah, so these are all the kings and queens of the Habsburgs. Obviously, including ourselves, uh, not including ourselves. Um, and then, yeah, no, we were going to help in this war, weren't we? Uh, this one, if we can. Is that actually going to let us join it this time? No. Yeah, for some reason we can't join this. I'm not sure why. We don't care about this one, because it's not the end of the world if Sicily becomes independent. No, we don't really care about this one. This is the only one we care about. It's not going to help us do it. Well, it's not going to let us do it, even. Well, what, for whatever reason, uh, we're not going to help. So hopefully they win that, because we don't want them to lose it. They're actually going to lose this war up here, which I think means they'll become independent. Wait, what? Why would they get the Kingdom of Hungary? Oh no, we should have been helping in this war. <laughs> oh no. Why... You lost the Kingdom of Hungary to a leader of the populist uprising. What? Why didn't we get warned of that? I mean, all the land stayed within our realm. They just get... Oh, yeah, it's up here. Can we not just usurp that title back? Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll, we'll, we'll have that back. Thank you. <laughs> Could you not? Um, and then I guess we'll just attack you. Actually, we might be able to just vassalize them. Yeah, we can. Fantastic. <laughs> so it didn't actually affect us at the end. There we go. In fact, I think it helped us because I don't think we had that land <laughs> under our direct control before. 
Um, okay, well... Oh, neighbor can be... Oh, look at all these guys who are vassalized to us. Oh, are these all the ones that just became independent? I think they are, you know. I think they're all the guys... Are they, are they all the people up here? <laughs> I think these all just got independence through that thing. Pretty sure they did. Mets. They must have done, otherwise they wouldn't have been on this. They would have been on this list already. And they weren't before. He is over here. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Zolan. Yeah, because they have no um no liege. They must be. They must be the ones who've all just got independence. And then they've all just come running to us. So come join the amazing Austrians. Oh wait, have we got too many duchies? Um, oh, actually, yeah, I vaguely remember we... Oh, no, no, we don't. We said too many duchies. No, no, I just I just imagined it. Oh, we can make another kingdom. Kingdom of Burgundy. Amazing. Well, same again. Oh, it's gone. Oh, no, it's back. <laughs> oh, we can do more. We can vassalize even more people. We're on, like, a roll of vassalizations. Uh, Duke Marquard of Lausitz. Is that this? Oh, no, this tiny place here. Okay, well, he vassalized us. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Um, I mean, look how, much la look how much land we own. All of this. Will you vassalize to us? Joey's not massively away from it. Can we... Um, yeah, because he's a... Um, he's a peasant leader. Can we send you a gift? And then will you just vassalize to us? Yes. <laughs> oh, ridiculous. Fantastic. <laughs> How many more of these can we get to... Okay, he won't vassalize to us. Oh, neither will he. I guess some of these just won't vassalize to us. Um, East Franconia? Oh, no, because they're to the Kaiser. Yeah, no, because they, they were outside the Empire. That's why they would. So Bremen. Yeah, he'll vassalize to us. And it's, it's really good, then, that they all became independent, because... Um, yeah, they've all just straight away come running to us. That's another one. All right, we'll just get that county then. He's, he doesn't seem able to, to get the duchy claim, so... Um, do this. Nominate successor. You can... You have not cast your vote. Oh, we got, we got a vote now? Okay. Let's see who's getting votes. Oh, he's from our house. Well, not from our house. Again, from one of our um, cadet branches. So let's vote for him. He's gonna. He's next in line for becoming the Kaiser. That'd be amazing. Some from our uh, dynasty becoming the emperor. You can create this. Well, let's use up. All right, we hold it right. Let's <laughs> let's tidy all this up. Okay, we'll vassalize somebody else. Um, more tiles can be created. Oh, we can make the kingdom of Germany. Amazing. We're going to give these away, obviously. Kingdom of Burgundy. Create this. So we're going to make two more um, Habsburg kings. Right. Let's uh, let's have a look. So the kingdom... Oh no, the kingdom of Germany is massive. <laughs> I don't want to give that away. I kind of want to keep that. That seems a bit much to give away, doesn't it? Burgundy, I don't mind as much, but Germany's massive. Although, again, no, that's what we're playing. That's what we're playing. That's what we're going to do. Are we going to give Burgundy to whoever this is? Oh, they're not even from our house. Well, that's no good. Who owns this? Savoy? Oh, wait, I wonder if, I wonder if we'll get given Savoy when we unpause. So I'm going to unpause for like a minute, and I wonder whether we'll get given Savoy, because it's technically our vassal of Burgundy. Yes. Oh no, East Franconia? Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> the Kaiser's just given... Look how much land we own directly. We own nearly all HRE. <laughs> if we kept Italy and Sicily under our direct control, we would own... Um, in theory, we should get given Savoy as well. 
Um, well, we're going to keep doing this till we get all get given as many of these as we can. Yeah, there we go. We're going to give them Savoy. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Look at this. In theory, we'll get given all these other ones as well. Yep, here's more. Got given... Um, St. Gellin. I thought, we, I thought we already got given that one, to be honest. Guess not. Look at this. We just keep giving us more. West Franconia, they got given to us. Here's more. Angria. Dude, you've given us your entire realm. <laughs> this is crazy. He's literally given us, like, his entire realm almost. Leinster, this guy over here. Oh, the him? <laughs> We're gonna gain... We're gonna get in in Ireland now. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Um, this is getting stupid, but I kind of like it. Nassau, he's gonna come our vassal. And some more. Westfallen. We literally own all the HRE, look at it. Except for Italy and Sicily. We basically own the entirety of the HRE now. It's it's kind of silly he's given them all to us, to be honest. Can we just vote for ourselves? King Ezo of Aragon? Oh, the dude we, we made the King of Aragon is now leading the vote to become the next Kaiser. So we should vote, just vote for ourselves. <laughs> just vote for ourselves. We're, we're tying with our um, cousin here. Right, let's just see whether we get any more. I think that's everyone. I don't think there is anyone else he can give us. Oh, wait, Bavaria, I suppose. Oh, but we don't own the Kingdom of Bavaria. Can we create the Kingdom of Bavaria? Yes. <laughs> well, in theory, we should get given those two vassals now. Come on, you need to hurry up, because we, we own too many duchies by far here. Oh, I thought he'd give us these, but I guess maybe not. Maybe he's cottoned on that he shouldn't be giving us any more land. It is kind of obscene how much land he's given us. Yeah, he's not going to say yes, so... Look at that, though. I kind of don't want to give them away, but... Again, at the same time... It is kind of what we're doing, so... Oh no, here he, here he comes. Here he comes to give us some more land. Orsberg. I think that's in one of these places. Duchess Ida of Bavaria. Oh, we have too many vassals. <laughs> I mean, who who would think why we have too many vassals? I mean, we literally own... We literally own the entirety of the HRE, apart from these bits up here, at these parts of France, basically. Yeah, because Aragon, someone from our house owns. And that's it. And these... Oh, well, Moldavia, again, someone from our, from our dynasty owns that. So yeah, we literally own the entirety of the HRE. Except for these bits over here, which are technically part of France, I think. Oh, no, they're not. No, they are part of the HRE. Um, he just hasn't given them to us because we don't own the uh, the Kingdom of Lotharingia. Uh, this person does. Can we request a claim? Can we, can we take this? No. Okay. <laughs> right, well, 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 we'll clean this up. We'll grant the vassals to who they should be with. This gets rid of all the vassals that we currently own that we shouldn't do. And also cleans up the map a little bit. There we go. Now we should, in theory, have Burgundy... Oh, we got overwhelmed by... Oh, because we're greedy. Yeah, we've got to keep things paused. Yeah, we're greedy. We gave away all these lands. Um, we're going to kill ourselves <laughs> doing this. We gain yeah, critical stress from doing that. So, uh, yeah, we need to do this before we die. So, um, yeah, I guess we're going to give away Germany, Bavaria, and Burgundy. And we're just going to have Habsburgians kind of on all the thrones of um, of the HRE. Because, yeah, we'll have Austria, Bohemia, Hungary are ours. Italy is already by someone in the Habsburg. So Sicily. Romagna we can't take because uh, it's the Pope's land. Uh, Lotharingia will be the only one. Uh, no, Lotharingia, Pomerania, and Frisia, which we are working towards anyway, will be the only ones not owned by us. 
um, which is just crazy. Right, anyway, let's give away Germany first. Now we should have this guy. Yeah, he is from our dynasty, and he was from our house. Uh, well, his father or his grandfather was from our house, so um, I don't mind giving the kingdom to this guy. So we're going to give him the kingdom of Germany. I know people will be shouting at me in the comments. If I was doing this like min-maxing or not doing like a Habsburg campaign, I'd obviously just keep all these kingdom titles probably. But uh, for what we're playing, as I've said many times, um, we're going to do this. So yeah, we're going to grant him this. Goodbye, sweet Germany. And again, oh yeah, we kind of have to mess around by giving away some of these titles that will then get granted back to this guy which is pretty funny. Um, we've got Bavaria down here, so we'll see if we have anyone in this area that is from our house in some fashion. Oh, Salzburg's technically part of it? Well, that's annoying, because we don't want to give them Salzburg. Uh, what about Orsberg? No. Tyrol? I think Tyrol is someone from our house. It's not. Well, you're our last hope. Are you from our house? You are not. Okay, well, can we usurp your <laughs> your lands? Can we revoke your titles? Hmm, we don't want to risk that, really. Is there somebody else? Can we take your title? 40% chance. Oh, we've got a hook on this person. Oh, and, oh, because she is an adulterer. We can actually take this without any um, problems. Okay, we'll revoke Tyrrell. <laughs> We're going to get killed here. Um, did we steal it? Yeah, there we go. Your rival lost a title. Yeah, we just took it off her. Oh, she was our rival as well? Fantastic. It's even better. Um, yeah, so we, we took these lands. So in that case... Demand artifact. Do you want to take the Pomeranian treatises? No, go away. Leave me alone. Right, uh, yeah, we want to give these lands to, um, like I say, someone from our house. So yeah, this episode's just turned into one massive cleanup of the map, I guess. So hope you like that, because that's what we're doing um, for the rest of the episode as well. Right, let's look for Habsburg living members. And we're just looking for any male members who don't have power anywhere else. Um, no, he's a, he's a mayor or something like that. Prince Polymer of Poland. I don't really want to give it to him either. We kind of want people who aren't landed, but also don't have much power. We're kind of running out of choice, though, I think. What about you? Okay, maybe this guy. Again, not perfect, because he's he's not um, Bavarian or, or anything like that, or Austrian. But... Um, it's gonna we, we, we can't really be picky with the amount of these we're gonna have to give away, so um We might have to Oh wait, who's this guy? No, he owns land somewhere already. Duchy of Cairo? Oh he's in Jerusalem. Yeah, we can't really be that picky. Um this guy, Carloman? Again, he is from uh, some from is in our dynasty. He has a claim on the Duchy of Bohemia. Oh, Joe, let's give it to this guy. Like, Bohemia is next door to Bavaria. So, at worst, if he goes, you know, a bit trigger happy and tries stealing some land, it's not the end of the world. All right, we don't want to give him Salzburg though. Oh no, we can give him Tyrrell. That'll give him the title. He's going to be annoyed because we're going to keep Salzburg. But we can't really do anything about that because we want to keep two duchies for ourselves. And we've been building up Salzburg for a while, so uh, he's just going to like it that uh, he doesn't have Salzburg. But he's, been, he's going to be the king of Bavaria, so there we go. It's another one done. We have, yeah, Burgundy as our last one. Now the thing with this is, I don't think there's anyone here who is from our house. It's kind of annoying because these have been really good to us since they've owned Provence. Can we revoke your title? Do we know a secret? No. Do we know a secret about you? No. I 
Well, do you know what? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Let's just do it anyway. Revoke title. 76% chance she'll say yes. At worst, we'll have to fight her and take and take it back. Let's try it. If she says no, we'll fight it next next episode. Oh, she declared war on us. <laughs> Rally the troops. How many people joined? Way too many. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have done that. War against the tyranny of Diopold II. 50,000 troops. That's a lot of troops, guys. That's a lot of troops. Well, we're going to fight this war off next episode. I mean, we could have just not done that. We could have just given it to somebody else, but we want to give away these kingdoms to people from the Habsburgs, so that's why we did that. And then if we win this war, we can basically do what we want anyway. Uh, the other thing we want to do is, yeah, we want to give away all these... It's going to be kind of annoying because we need to give away these lands so that they're given to Germany. Is this us? No. Oh, no, no, no. He is already a, a vassal of his. It's kind of it's kind of annoying to, to see. Right, who's this guy? Count of, Mar of Marburg. So what duchy is that? Hesse? Oh, we don't have this? Oh, we don't own enough land in it? Ah, okay. Well, we can usurp a bunch of titles. Are we going to even... We can actually usurp the kingdom back off him if we wanted to. We own more land than he does, technically. Right, anyway, let's give away the Duchy of Crane before we forget, and then we'll finish today's episode. That's down here. Oh, he rebelled, so we can't give it back to him. Well, I guess we'll figure that out next time. Well, anyway, guys, it has been a roller coaster ride of events <laughs> in this episode. Um, I think we'll be fine with this, though. We can call in all our allies. In fact, We'll do that before we uh, we go, so that I don't forget. I'm not sure how I'd forget, but the, you know, there's a chance I might. So let's uh, let's do this before we finish for today. As we're doing this, as always, if you've enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button. It helps other people find the channel in the future. And if it's your first video here, welcome to the channel. I play Crusader Kings and other grand strategy games on the on the channel as well as some other um simulation games and all that good stuff so i uh, cover the dev diaries and um all that stuff as well so if that's your kind of thing you know what to do hit subscribe but uh, we're gonna be just about finished for today and next episode we're gonna be doing this insane war so um yeah we'll see how that goes we'll call this guy in so we'll finish this war and then we'll clean up our empire even more because there's definitely stuff we could be clean uh cleaning up here yeah, bavaria so this is a good thing now they're independent habsburgs we can just call them into wars as dynasty head they basically have to come in and help us so um yeah that's all that done so yeah we'll we'll see how many people that gives us we should be able to fight this off without too much trouble to be honest if we just beat some of the ringleaders like down here if we come after Provence and take out this army, we should be able to deal with this relatively easily. And then, yeah, like I say, we'll give away these others, other bits of land, like East Franconia should technically be part of uh, Germany. So, well, I believe so. Yes. So we, we'll, again, we'll make him independent and then the Kaiser will give him to the King of Germany. But we, I don't want to do that during the war. So we'll finish the war first and then we'll do that. Uh, but I think that's tidied up our main issues. Well, we can't do this because the entire duchy rebelled against us. So, um, yeah, we need to wait for him to um, stop stop being at war with us. And then we can grant it to him. Or her, even. So, uh, yeah, we're going to leave it there for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.